Good morning, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me at William Jeans Memorial Library's virtual story time. I'm here with my friend, Curious George, and we are so happy that you are here today. Um, if you are um, watching live, you can go now while you have the time and grab something to use as a shaker. I'm gonna use my shaker eggs when we get to the shaker song. Um, but you can use anything at all that makes a sound. It could be keys or a maraca or a homemade shaker, um, baby rattle, anything at all. And you can also grab something that you could use as a scarf. I have my story time scarf and I use that every week, but you don't have to use a scarf. You could even use, let's see, I have some other ideas here, a cloth napkin or a tissue or a blankie or a dish rag, anything at all. And even more importantly, if you're watching live and you would like me to put your name in our welcome song or just say hello to you at some point throughout story time, I would love it. I love doing in-person story time where we can all be together. But if we can't sometimes, this is the next best thing. But I like to know who you are and that you're watching so I can say hi to you in person. I'm gonna try to get my um, phone here set up so that I can see what I'm doing on the computer and see if I have comments to respond to on my phone. It's been like, you know, a year and two months and I'm still figuring all this stuff out. I think I got it. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. There I am echoing, but that's good because now I can look and I can see that Spider-Man Oliver is here. Hello, Spider-Man Oliver. All right, we are ready to sing our welcome song. Oh, poor George. He's getting cut off of the screen. There we are. Let's say hello to our friends, our friends, our friends. Say hello to our friends, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Say hello to Oliver Spider-Man, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to George, George, George. Say hello to George, we're glad you're here today. Let's say hello to Miss Rachel, Miss Rachel, Miss Rachel. Say hello to Miss Rachel, I'm glad I'm here today. Let's say hello to everyone, everyone, everyone. Say hello to everyone, we're glad we're here today. We're so happy that we're all here together. I forgot to tell you what we're going to do today. The first thing we did was sing our welcome song to say hello to you. Next, we are going to read a book together and then we'll sing another song together. Then we're gonna read another book together. Now, when we get to this song, I'm gonna put my shaker eggs here. So you know, that's when it's shaker song time. This song will be the shaker song. Then of course we will do, let me move over here so you can see, a scarf song like we always do. And we will end with bubbles like we always do. So let's get started with our first book. And if you came to outdoor story time this week, then everything we do today here is going to be very familiar because it's the same. The first thing we're going to read is called Stripes of All Types. This book is written and illustrated by Susan Stockdale. And Susan Stockdale does lots and lots of books about animals and she does amazing illustrations of all kinds of animals. And that means she did the artwork. The illustrations are the artwork. And I love her books because at the back, she always tells you more about all the animals that are in her books. So this book is a nonfiction book. That means what we read in this book is all true. This is science. Stripes of All Types by Susan Stockdale. This is published by Peachtree. This book also 
is written in English and Spanish. So if you would like to learn a little Spanish or practice a little Spanish, this is a cool book to check out because you can see some Spanish words. This is English, stripes of all types. And this is Spanish, reyes de todos las tallas. And you can find out how to say all the animal names in Spanish too, if you like. Stripes found in water. And sliding through weeds. Drinking from rivers. And darting through reeds. Toting a shell. Twisting on sand. Sprawled in a lair. And sprinting on land. <laughs> Zebras are very fast. So there might be a lot of words in this book that you've never heard before. And it's a great chance um, to learn some new words. And I've mentioned this before, but using vocabulary in books that your kids might not know um, is a great opportunity to help them not just learn new words, if you explain to them what the words mean, but also it puts more words into their, um, like their word bank. Even if they hear it and you don't tell them what it is, it gets stored away so that if they come across it when they're learning to read, they have access to that as being a real word. So when they're trying to sound something out, if it doesn't seem quite right, they sound it out and they're like, I don't know what that means, but I've heard that before and that's how it sounds. Um, that sounds like a stretch, but it is actually um, proven to be the way kids learn to read. That um, having lots of words stored away in their catalog um, they can refer back to when they're sounding things out and trying to find which, which way sounds like something they've heard before. So, I'm not defining all the new words in this book, but if you check it out at home, you can do that. And you're also exposing them to lots of new vocabulary and um, filling up their catalog. All right, thank you for listening to that PSA. Now we return to Stripes. Prowling in the prairie. Perched on a peak. Crawling on cactus. And camped by a creek. Propped on a log, poised on a leaf, scaling a ridge, and scouting a reef. Stripes found in forests. Stripes found on farms. Stripes found with children curled in their arms. Look at those stripes. Little striped kittens. 
And like I said, all the different stripes, you can find out what kinds of animals they're from. And then you can find out more about those animals. Check this out from the library. Stripes of all types. Children's books are my favorite way to learn about new animals, all kinds of new things actually, because they're little bite-sized pieces of information that can spark your interest, whether you are three or four or five or 46. All right, my friends, we're gonna sing a song. And if you remember this page, let's find it. One of my favorite pages, it's so beautiful. All the striped fish in the reef. We're gonna do a song about things that live, not just on the reef, but under the ocean. Are you ready? You might remember this one, it goes like this. A slippery fish, a slippery fish, sliding through the water. A slippery fish, a slippery fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, it's been eaten by an octopus, an octopus squiggling in the water. An octopus, an octopus. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! It's been eaten by a tuna fish, a tuna fish flashing in the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, tuna fish are really big. What has eaten the tuna fish? A great white shark, a great white shark. Lurking in the water, a great white shark, a great white shark. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, what's big enough and brave enough to eat a shark? A humongous whale, a humongous whale, spouting out some water, a humongous well, a humongous well. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Burp. Excuse me. I don't think that there is anything big enough to eat a whale, do you? Whales, especially blue whales. Well, there are a lot of big whales, are very, very big, and they're big enough to eat sharks, but Remember how I said that the book we read about animals was all true facts? Well, our song is not all true facts. Some of it's true and some of it is not because whales don't eat sharks. Whales eat smaller fish and they eat some plants, but they don't eat great white sharks. The great white sharks do eat other sea creatures. That part is true. So, we have nonfiction, things that are true facts, and we have some fiction, some of the songs we sing where we use our imagination, and they aren't always true, real things. They're not always science. Sometimes they're made up just for fun, like our song. Let's read another book. This animal in this book does not have stripes, like in our other book. This book has some parts that are fiction and some parts that are nonfiction. Some true, some not. It's called The Bear Went Over the Mountain, adapted by Roseanne Lansack Williams and illustrated by Anne Kennedy. The Bear Went Over the Mountain. This is published by Creative Teaching Press. I'm going to actually sing this book to you. And if you would like to join in the song, you can do that. I'm going to do my best. This is a big book, so it's a little awkward. Let's 
see if I can do it. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what it could see. What does it see? Look at that. Do you see what the bear sees? Yep. The bear went through the forest, the bear went through the forest, the bear went through the forest to see what it could see. What does it see now? Do you know what that is? That's a bridge, a covered bridge. The bear went through the bridge, the bear went through the bridge, the bear, oh no, the bear didn't go through the bridge. I'm so silly. Look at this picture and you'll know that I am messing up the words. The bear didn't go through the bridge. How did the bear cross the river? Yep. The bear went under the bridge, the bear went under the bridge, the bear went under the bridge to see what it could see. What is on the other side of the bridge that the bear might be looking for? Let's look closely and see. What do you think that is. I think you might be right. The bear went into the cave. The bear went into the cave. The bear went into the cave. And then it went to sleep. journey for the bear just to find a place to go to sleep. It went over the mountain and through the forest and under the bridge and into the cave to take a nap. Now, I think that bears and all animals do need sleep on a regular basis, but there is a time of year that bears and some other hibernating animals also need lots of sleep, and that's winter time. And some bears find caves to go into to hibernate during the winter. It's not winter now, is it? At least not in the eastern United States where we are um, live from, um, but it is still something that all creatures including us, need is sleep. Maybe there's somewhere at your house that feels like a special cave where you can go when you need to take a nap. Speaking of naps, are you ready for a nap? Are you sleepy? I'm not. Let's do the shaker song. You ready? All right, let's get ready and make sure I can connect. Oh, I have to turn on our speaker. And while I'm doing this, you get whatever it is that you have to shake ready so that when I turn on the song, you are ready to shake. All right, I think we're getting there. Got to listen for the special sound. I'm waiting. That's it. That's the sound. That means we're ready. Shaker eggs. Let's shake, my friends. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. 
Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all. song about a fish and an octopus and a shark and a whale. We're going to do a song that's just about fish and the bubbles that they make and that they pop. Maybe you've seen a fish when it opens its mouth and a bubble comes out and the bubble goes all the way up and when it gets to the top of the water, pop! So we are going to use our scarves to pretend that they are First, we'll pretend it's a fish, and then we'll pretend they are the bubbles popping. You ready? It goes like this. One little fish is swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little fish is swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. scarf or whatever you have up in the air like a bowl popping and then we'll do two fish and two pops. Two little fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little fish are swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. Two pops, ready? My pop went right out of the computer screen. Pop! How about yours? How high did your bubbles pop? <clears throat> Let's do three. We did one, two, three. Three fish, three pops. Three little fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little fish are swimming in the water, Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! Pop! That was two and pop! 
three. Now let's do it one more time with four fish, four bubbles, four pops, and let's make it fast. Four fast fish. You ready? Four fast fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four fast fish are swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! One! Pop! Two! Pop! Three! Pop! Four! Were you fast enough? I bet you were. I bet you are a fast fish. All right, everybody. It's time for us to say goodbye for today. I'm going to blow some bubbles to send you off on your way and to say thank you for spending some of your morning with me. Get my bubble out and you see if you can follow the bubbles as they float across your screen. You ready? There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air, everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. <clears throat> There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. Until next time, everyone. Have a wonderful day.